I'm sorry, your name you said is? Louis. 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 If God created only good people yeah. and only women, <laughs> can you imagine life? No. <laughs> can you imagine daily living where there are women and only good women? A strange world. <laughs> <laughs> strange, so strange it just can't exist. <laughs> <laughs> See, that is the point. But but apart from that, my point is why why was Louis concerned with questions like these? These questions are answered, then Louis's mind will dig up another ten questions. Louis gets answers for those ten questions. Your mind will dig up another ten questions. Is that all Louis's life is for? Asking questions and getting answers? So I'm concerned more with what does Louis really want in this life? That is what I'm concerned with. You see what I mean? Louis, I, I'm concerned with Louis and people like us who are reasonably comfortable in life. What I talk about is what does someone like us, by the grace of God and according to the cosmic law, whatever it is, for which we are very grateful that we are one of the few who are reasonably comfortable in life, whereas there are millions of people below the poverty line, in misery, living in misery. <coughs> so my point is, for those of us who are living in reasonable, reasonable comfort, I'm, I'm concerned with these, I'm not concerned with those below the poverty line. For one reason, because what I talk about does not concern those below the poverty line. What I talk about is, what does someone like us, reasonably comfortable in life, and with the common sense to know that the very basis of daily living is uncertainty. No one can know what the next moment will bring, pleasure or pain. No one can know the total amount of pleasure and pain each of us is supposed to experience, which is already predetermined. So in these circumstances, where life is a very uncertainty, the very basis of daily living, my focal question is, what does someone like us, Louis or someone like us, want most in life? Therefore, the, again the important conclusion, from the first conclusion is, therefore, my happiness depends not on the flow of life. Flow of life can only mean pleasure or pain, but in my attitude to life. For me, the most important conclusion, the first step from which, from which we can travel towards the journey of getting happiness, the most important. Which is, I repeat, the deeper happiness I want is not to be found in the flow of life, but in my attitude.